Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is a new freaking decade. So I took a little bit of a hiatus, as you might have noticed. I haven't posted for a couple months now. Um, I was super busy, and I'll get to that kind of later in the video. For those of you who are still here, thank you so much for sticking with me and waiting it out until I post a new video. I know you've been waiting. So I thought I'd come back from my little hiatus to do a quick recap of my 2019 and share with you my five commitments for 2020. In January of 2019, kind of coming off a little bit of a low, I decided to start doing some journaling and just jotting down some pluses and minuses from my day to help me celebrate the small victories and to see what kind of subtle changes I might need to make every day my favorite day. Now, although this kind of fell off towards the end of the year, it was definitely super helpful when I was at my lowest and I really found it helpful in like grounding me and just reminding me of all the things that I'm blessed to have and blessed to be able to do. Fast forward to April and we had a little bit of a vacation in Hawaii. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it somewhere on the screen. But it was Vashon's first time ever in Hawaii and I felt so blessed to be able to take him to a place that I've only been once before but really, really love and show him around and give him a good time. Fast forward to June and I took my first trip to the UK, visiting London with my mom and my sister. This was my first like big trip out of the country. I've been to Mexico a couple times before, but it doesn't quite feel the same as getting on a plane for a 12 hour flight. So I feel real blessed to have had that opportunity. That vlog is linked somewhere on the screen or in the description box down below. I decided to take the summer off from work and do a little bit of working from home. And I was able to really spend a lot of time just chilling, relaxing, but also plotting my next moves. Turns out that break was much needed as August was a busy month for me. I turned 28, started a new role at work, which increased my responsibilities and my workload. Then, as if that wasn't enough, I also started a social media marketing program so that I could better understand this Instagram, YouTube marketing game and figure out if this was really something I want to pursue. By September, your girl was tired. It was too much to try to do all of this while doing school and a new job. So in October, things went dark. I completed my program at the end of November and can now proudly say that I have a certification in social media marketing from Cal State East Bay. Hi, editing Taryn here. I somehow forgot to mention that in November I also went to freaking South Korea. Um, <laughs> that vlog will be linked as well. Don't know how I forgot to say that, but just blessed. December is a crazy month at work and got to do a whole bunch of fun things with my students and staff, but I also took some time to kind of wrap up my year and think about what my plan was going to be for this channel moving forward. And I've got some things in the works, but I'm not gonna share too much about what's next in this video. So every year I make New Year's resolutions and very rarely stick to them and or remember what the hell I decided I was gonna do. So for 2020, I have five commitments that I plan to integrate into my daily life that you're welcome to try as well. Some of these I actually currently do and I'm just kind of recommitting myself to that process. Other things are new that I wanna try that will hopefully enhance my life. So the first thing I'm gonna to commit to for 2020 is doing my daily reflection. So having a journal where I draw down my pluses and minuses, holding myself accountable for the things that I said I wanna do, and reflecting on the small victories. I oftentimes find myself dwelling on the negative and forget to look at how far I've come and the small goals that I've accomplished that will lead me to my larger overarching goals and just noting the people and places that like build me up and make me happy and making sure that that's more part of my everyday life. So figuring out the things that maybe don't jive with my spirit and replacing it with more things that like leave me feeling good at the end of the day. My second commitment is one I've definitely started before and go through phases with, but I want to try to make it a part of my routine again, exercising two to three days a week. 
from going on a walk to yoga to a high intensity cardio workout, whatever. I just need to get my body moving. I was an athlete for my entire life and my body definitely shows it. I don't necessarily mean that in terms of my physique, I mean in terms of the aches and pains, the muscle tension. I love gymnastics, but all of that stuff has really stuck with me and the only way that I really feel good is when I'm moving my body. And so as I'm getting older, I just need to accept that I'm not only working out to look good, but I also need to just be working out for my general health. My next commitment is kind of on the same vibe as number one, but just doing some bi-weekly check-ins with myself. Reviewing my daily journal, checking in on my progress, seeing where I can improve, and noting the short-term progress. I just want to make sure that I have some checkpoints to celebrate the small victories, recalibrate anywhere that I need to change in order to achieve my short-term and long-term goals, and to just improve my positive self-talk. My fourth commitment for 2020 is to connect more. I don't know about you, but I absolutely hate talking on the phone. Hate it. Don't know why. Just, I don't know if it's like, again, it's probably just negative self-talk. Maybe I don't hate talking on the phone. I don't know. It's just a thing that I've told myself. And now I never call anyone unless it's like, urgent or an emergency. But I often feel like I use social media as a fake way to keep up with people and I don't actually know what's going on in folks' lives that I care about. I just see what they post on IG or Facebook or whatever. So whether it's a call or a text or an email, I am committing to reaching out to more family and friends in 2020, people who I know that I love, who I just don't connect with enough because we're all busy, but Again, this is about feeling good and being good in 2020 and I want to make sure that my people are doing well too. And the last commitment I'm going to share with you all is commitment number five, which is to share more. I know that sounds a little ironic given that I am sharing this with you all in a YouTube video so you're like, Taryn, you do share. But I actually have so many more ideas and things that I keep to myself that I don't put out in the world because I am so hypercritical and scared of what like people will think or that it won't be good enough. And I just need to throw that out the window and share more in 2020. So in 2020, I'm gonna be my own hype woman and I'm not gonna be afraid to give myself a shout out. And if you don't like it, I guess I'm leaving you in 2019. What commitments are you making for 2020? Leave them in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any of my new content. And if you want to keep up with me on my day to day, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at tbear02. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.